How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you the Kindle app on the new iPad Mini. I know this is an app that a lot of people want to see right now just because, you know, this iPad Mini could potentially end up being the next best e-reader because it's a uh, nice size, it's light, it's compact, portable. And so, you know, I definitely was, was saying, hey, you know, I wonder how reading is on this thing. Uh, I've never been that big in using iBooks. I just tend to like the Kindle app better. So that's what I'm going to show you. But uh, we'll make sure to show you iBooks in a later video. Let's go ahead and open up the Kindle app. So uh, for, first thing you ask you to do is sign in. I've already signed in, obviously. So we can just get right to the, the magic. Um, we are in the cloud right now. And what that means is it's going to show me all the books that I've currently downloaded. And if I switch to device, it'll show you the 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 books that are, are actually downloaded onto the iPad. And these are books that you can read whenever. So if I don't have the internet connection, I can still go to uh, like this book, for example, Rich Dad Poor Dad, and I'll be able to read it um, right now. Okay. So this is what it looks like. You can um, tap the screen to bring up the menu, and we can uh, you know make the font bigger to make it a little bit easier to read. You can also change the line spacing if you want big spacing or small spacing. This actually changes the margins, so the margins get smaller and smaller or if you want them bigger okay change our font here so we have a couple of options there that actually is a pretty good font I like that and then we have our brightness right here we can actually dim it down really low or make it nice and bright depending on how it is better for you to read and I definitely recommend taking advantage of these features because if you switch from white to black this black look is actually a better look for when you're reading at night like in the dark you wouldn't want the screen to be so bright because it would actually kind of mess up your eyes or not mess it up but it would kind of make your eyes hurt so this is kind of like for your low light setting and you also have sepia which is kind of a good complement of the two so uh, that's kind of how you do the settings here we have our search we can search words we also have our bookmarks right here if we want to go to our table of contents, the cover at a certain location, or if, hey, we just want to see what we've bookmarked and what we've highlighted, we can go right there. Now, what it doesn't have that I don't like is the, you know, the animated page turns where if you want to turn the page, you can just, you know, kind of like start pulling and it, it turns. I know iBooks does it, but they haven't made the Kindle app good enough to do that, and I kind of wish they would, so that's kind of a pet peeve. Uh, also, when you read in landscape, you do have the option of seeing it like a book, so it will show two pages. But again, you can't animate that page turn. I kind of hate that. I wish you could do that because I love doing that. But nonetheless, this is the Kindle app on the iPad Mini. We can even tap back home here to get back to our main screen. And this is it. We can see all items, books, newsstand, and documents. And that is it. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, make sure you like the video if you did. Subscribe to HG Tech Videos and keep watching, alright? Have a good one.